one of Africa's least secure and worst governed countries, Somalia is unlikely place for technology and innovation. Irish Hub co-founder Abdelhakim Ainte wants to change that by connecting investors with Somalia's young innovators. We use technology as a means to get an employment opportunity for the Somali youth who make up the 70%. 75% of the total population of the country, and all of them, they are surprisingly below the 30 years uh, old. IRIS helped organize Somalia's first ever technology summit this month in the capital. The government wants to change the view that Somalia is not safe for visitors or investors. Part of the commitment of the Office of Prime Minister and the Prime Minister himself to this city and Somalia as a general is to create an enabling environment that can attract investment from global investors and make Somalia the final destination for tourists and investors. For a country in conflict, Somalia's digital market potential is striking as mobile money has nearly replaced cash. The World Bank says Somalia has one of the most active mobile money markets in the world with nearly $3 billion in transactions per month. Using mobile money transfer has alleviated the burden of carrying huge cash in hand and that has made our life much easier. You can simply buy something while using your phone wherever you are, in the shops and stores. But the threat of terrorism and Somalia's poor infrastructure make attracting capital and supporting innovation a challenge. The price of the internet and the price of electricity which is like skyrocketing high. Uh, the other one is insecurity, which makes the whole process of doing business very difficult in Somalia. Nonetheless, some remain optimistic about Somalia's technology potential. But innovation will remain a challenge as long as government resources are stretched and is struggling just to provide the basics of security and services. Mohamed Shaknur for VOA News, Mogadishu.